So you're a new fantasy basketball manager. Somebody sent you an invite to join a league on Sleeper. You go into some chat forums. You go online. You can't find anything about Sleeper. Also, when you do find stuff about Sleeper, people are making fun of you. People are clowning you, being condescending. It's just wild. In this video, what we're going to do is break down the basics of Sleeper's new locked-in format. So Sleeper started this format last year. I didn't take time to do a video on it just because I was so locked in, no pun intended, on other formats. But just going into some of the different chat forums, you know, on Reddit, in the comment section, on YouTube, people are being wild disrespectful when new fantasy basketball players are just asking questions. So many people come over from fantasy football through the Sleeper app to get introduced to fantasy basketball, and I wanna make sure you have a place where you feel welcomed. With that said, for this video, we're just gonna do a breakdown of the locked in format. If you want a tutorial on how to use the Sleeper app, you can watch the video that pops up on the end screen. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go over to this page here. Let's go through it. And I'll get, I'll read this, but I'll also give a little bit of commentary so you have some context. So locked in mode details. This is from Sleeper, updated about a week ago. We released a new basketball game mode, blah, blah, blah. Locked in mode offers more strategy than game pick mode. In the video that's going to pop up on the end screen, we talk about game pick. At the time, it was the only format available. You still only have one game per week per player. Count towards your matchup score. The difference here is that you have the ability to pass on a game or lock it in after it's completed. I actually love that. One thing about game pick format, it felt like you were just kind of guessing throughout the week and hoping that you get the best score. It almost felt like you were hitting the slots in Vegas and you were just hoping that you would get a jackpot. Where here, I see that Sleeper's trying to introduce a little bit more strategy, almost like a betting strategy. Hey, will I bet on Clint Capella um, scoring 30 points as his highest producing day versus let's pass on the 30 and see how he does later on in the week. So I really like that. So how does it work? After your player plays a game, you may lock in that game to count towards that week's fantasy score. The catch is here that if you want to lock it in, you must do so before that player starts their next game. Once you lock in a player's game, you cannot lock in that player again for the remainder of the matchup week. You cannot you also cannot swap that player into a different positional spot. It's worth noting that who you start for that week is also really important. So you can start a player, not pick their game, and then rotate them out for someone else later on in the week. So I think that's really dope. Details. Oh, these are more some like um, commonly asked questions, frequently asked questions. Can I undo my locked in pick if my next game did not start? No. Can I move a bench player who just played into a starting slot to lock in their score, score, you cannot. Can I add a player from free agency or waivers and get points from their most recent game? This is good. No, you cannot. You can use the player moving forward, but they had, they would have needed, they would have needed to be in your lineup at the time of the game to get those points. What happens if a player is traded? Once a trade is processed, you can only accumulate points for the newly acquired player moving forward. You cannot get points from a previous game that week for them. Additionally, if Team A locked in points for James Harden on Tuesday and they trade him to Team B, Harden cannot be used for the remainder of the matchup. The points will remain with Team A that week. That's good. That's very important. What if I forget to lock in? If you do that, you could get hit with zeros. So overall, what I would say for people, especially if you're coming over new to fantasy basketball from fantasy football, like you're with your coworkers, with your friends and family, it's really casual. If you're a young person and you're with your classmates, like this is a great platform to get started. There are more advanced formats of fantasy basketball, but that's not where you are right now. Where you are is searching the internet to get information about Sleeper and there's nothing available for you and you're also feeling like people are being rude and disrespectful and condescending. It's wild out here. And for me, I'm not really one for conflict. I'm more about solutions. I'm more about providing you 
the value that you need so you could be at peace and have fun. For me, I'm not here trying to get rich. I just want to make sure you guys have the tool to, tools to succeed and dominate your league. So don't forget, play the waivers, set your lineups, and check out this next episode if you want to learn how to use the Sleeper app.